Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. God bless each of you. Amen. Tonight as we are beginning, amen, our service on this evening, the road to Pentecost. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We want us to put our minds on Jesus. We want to welcome all of our, amen, uh, saints in the house and those that are joining, amen, by way of Facebook Live this afternoon. Amen. We welcome you in, amen, as we prepare, amen, to take this journey, hallelujah, amen, to Pentecost. Glory to God. We celebrate each of you, amen. Glory to God. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. So let's begin to clap our hands and let's begin to exalt the Lord, amen. Let's begin to give God praise for his goodness, hallelujah. We praise him for his mercy and for his kindness towards us, hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. God is great and greatly to be praised as we're preparing ourselves and we're leading toward praise and worship. Can we just begin to exalt the Lord? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We celebrate him because he is God and besides him there is no other. Hallelujah. We lift him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless him for what he's done for us. Hallelujah. We thank him. Glory to God for the cross. We thank him for Calvary. Hallelujah. We thank you. Glory to God for what he's, amen, the journey that he took. Glory to God. We thank him for the resurrection. Hallelujah. Of Jesus Christ from the dead. Glory to God. But most of all, we give him praise. Hallelujah. For the power of the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, the spirit of the living God that dwelleth on the inside of man. Hallelujah, the spirit of the living God that lives on the inside of us. Glory to the Bible says, in him we live. Come on, in him we move. And in him we have our being. Glory to God, we celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. For he is the king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. He is the everlasting father. We bless the name of Jesus. Glory so, Father, we give you praise today. Father, we extol your name. Father, we esteem your name. Father, we lift your name. Father, we go in and God celebrate your name. Father, we glorify your name. For there is no other name. Oh, God, under heaven given among on men, whereby we must be saved. But at the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And so we thank you for the power that's in your name. Thank you for the victory that's in your name. Thank you for the joy that's in your name. Thank you for the peace that's in your name. Come on, let's celebrate him this afternoon. We thank him, hallelujah, for the power that's in his name. Oh, God, have your way in the sanctuary. Have your way in the service. Have your way today. Lord, send your word. God, our ears are open. Our hearts are ready. Lord, speak to us this day. Oh, God, anoint your servant of friends and use it for your glory. Let it down in the treasures of your wisdom. Bring it up with a word. Oh, God, for your people. Oh, God, bless, oh, God, the praise and worship. Oh, God, Lord, touch the musicians. Lord, touch the saints. Open us up today. We're ready for an experience. We're ready for an experience with the Holy Ghost. We're ready. Hallelujah. Our hearts have been cultivated. Our minds have been cultivated. Our spirits have been cultivated. And we're ready. We're open soil. We're open soil. We're open soil. Pour into us your word. Pour into us your spirit. Pour into us your power. Oh God, drop the seed of your word. Drop the seed of your word down on the inside of us. And Lord, we'll glorify you. Lord, we'll magnify you. Lord, we'll bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, heal today. Lord, deliver today. Lord, set free today. You blessed us this morning, but you're not through. Oh my God, pour out your power. Pour out your power. Pour out your power. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God, we stand as empty vessels waiting for the poor. Empty vessels waiting on the poor. Pour into us, God. 
your word and we'll glorify you we'll magnify you thank you for an atmosphere come on thank you for an atmosphere right where you are saints of the living God clap your hands open your mouth and cultivate an atmosphere tell God how good he is tell God how merciful tell God how kind come on here send your anointing I wish I had somebody that would tell God send your anointing send your anointing send your anointing send the anointing that will destroy yokes send the anointing oh God you touched me this morning but touch me again send the anointing send the anointing send the anointing God will bless you God will glorify you we're not in our flesh we're in the spirit I was in the spirit on the Lord's day Lord touch us now set us up set us up for a move of God and God we thank you God we bless you and we honor you forever we honor you forever the devil is defeated the devil is defeated you are exalted and we have the victory if you have victory come on give him glory as we turn this over into the hands of praise and worship somebody lift your voice and give Jesus praise give Jesus praise give Jesus praise praise him with power praise him with power praise him with power praise him with power out of your mouth out of your mouth out of your mouth praise him with power and it is so in Jesus name praise the Lord everybody Hallelujah, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, we come to bless the name of Jesus on tonight. Hallelujah, anybody excited to receive something from the Lord? Hallelujah, is anybody excited to receive anything from the Lord on tonight? Hallelujah, I'm in expectation. Hallelujah, that I will receive something from God on tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Son of God be magnified. The Son of God be 
of worship. Glory to God, I ought to give him some glory and some praise. Come on, tell somebody, wake up, it's worship time. My God, I thought about, <laughs> I looked over while the praise team was going on. I looked over and earlier this morning, earlier this morning, we got caught up in here. And I knocked over the oil bottle by accident. And oil began to drip down the leaves. And I was sitting over there a few moments ago and the spirit said the oil is still dripping. God, I wish I had somebody. Woo! Tell somebody there's still oil in here. I said there's still oil in here. And when you've been dripped with oil, it'll still shine on you. The bottle is gone, but the oil is still there. After a good service is over, the oil is still with you. I wish I had somebody that would open your mouth and just give him praise because the oil is still dripping. I tell you, I feel like going through this house. Glory to God. But you ought to lift your voice and shout, the oil is still dripping. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Mr. Douglas, I thought about in the old church. Amen. When I was growing up, amen, and we were celebrating Pentecost and had evening worship like this. Lord, God, he'd break out and say, something got a hold of me. Oh, yes, it did. I said, something got a hold of me. Said, I went to a meeting one. Oh, something got a hold of me. Oh, yes, it did. I said something 
Jesus, you're going to stir him up. Lord, have my, come on. I said, if you start talking about Jesus, you're going to stir him up. Amen. I was watching, amen, a lady, amen, just the other day on Facebook who turned 92 years old. Amen. And the young man, the, the pastor, rather, amen, was, amen, had her own FaceTime or Facebook, and he was talking to her about, amen, how many years Amen. How many years uh, she old she was. Amen. And she just began to say, I'm 92 years old. And the more she said 92, her 92 turned into speaking in tongue, sitting in her living room in her chair. I'm telling you, I, if you're going to get happy about nothing else, you ought to get happy about your testimony. Tell, ask somebody, how long you been on this earth and you could have been dead? How do, I wish I had somebody that would just put your number out there. You ain't got to tell nobody else. But just think about how many years God has kept you and just stop telling him thank you for all these years. I'm not but 40 years old, but he kept me. Somebody died at 39. Somebody died at 30. Somebody didn't make it down the front canal. But look at me. I'm still here. After all I've been through, somebody give him praise. All of my life. All of my life, 
all of my life. The enemy wanted to destroy me. Oh my God. But even when the enemy thought he was going to take me, God brought me out. Lord, have mercy. Tell somebody, God said no. That's it, y'all. <laughs> wanted to take you out but God said no you cute today but you ain't always been like you are God said no and you live to see another day somebody I'm still alive glory to God I thank him amen I thank him I thank him that even in a season with people God have mercy are taking their own life made a decision to live through it. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, I said, make, tell somebody I made a decision to live through it. I bless his name. Glory to God. Amen. To some of us, you might as well tell the truth was close enough. But because of Jesus, Amen. You made a decision to live through it. We bless God today for, amen, the moving of his, I'm telling you, hey, glory to God. We thank God. 
amen, for his presence and for his power. We are preparing, amen, glory to God, really quickly to receive an offering for our afternoon worship experience. Amen, glory to God. And we want you to prepare your hearts and minds for giving those of you <clears throat> that are watching, <clears throat> amen, glory to tuned in, amen, to this worship experience and those that are in the room. Amen. Glory to God. Let us be guilty of releasing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Unto the Lord today. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're giving by way of cash app, it's dollar sign GTLM485. Glory to God. If you're reading through Giblify, it's Greater True Light Ministries. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. If you're in the room and you want to release a tangible gift, amen. Glory to God. You may do so. Amen. Everyone that can today, amen, that can release at least a $10 gift this afternoon. Would you do that for us to the glory of God? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we certainly would appreciate it.
Hallelujah. On this first road to Pentecost celebration, why don't you bless God and receive him as he come in Jesus' name. Hey! sanctuary was in my office this morning I was in service this morning and I tell you the Lord freed up some stuff in my spirit this morning my boss said she was looking for me all she heard me was hollering and screaming because tell somebody I'm free hallelujah bless the Lord today you may be seated in his presence. We honor the Lord. Woo! For his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. I told Pastor Simmons, I said, Bishop should have canceled service tonight. Because I didn't think there was no more left. But tell somebody we're on the road to Pentecost. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord today for his grace and his mercy. We thank the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I just break out and start crying, y'all just, just tell me to go ahead because I'm full tonight. Hallelujah. But we honor the Lord tonight. For our bishop. Bishop Baxter, come on, give God praise for the man of God, to our bishop and our pastor. Thank God for our wonderful First Lady, First Lady Baxter, come on. To, to Pastor King and to Pastor Simmons and all our ministers and elders, everybody. I guess everybody's, everybody's somebody in the house of the Lord. Now let's give Jesus a praise in the room. It's because of him. Hallelujah. It's because of him that we are here today. And if it had not been for him, where would we be? But thanks be unto God. Hallelujah for his grace. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you very long tonight. 
Hallelujah. I have a little Sunday school lesson to give you. I have a small message. If you give me 15 minutes, I'll be out your way. To the book of John, second chapter. Hallelujah. I'm going to do my best with this collar. Praise the Lord. God have mercy. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank God for my wife. Hallelujah. Thank God for her. Hallelujah. John, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse, it says, On the third day, a wedding took place in Cana in Galilee. And Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. And when the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Jesus said to her, woman, why do you involve me in this? And Jesus replied, my hour has not yet come. And his mother said to the servant, do whatever he tells you. And nearby stood six stoned water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding a Jesus said to the servant, fill the jars with water. And so they filled them to the brim. And then he said to them, now draw some out. And take it to the master of the banquet. And they did so. And the master of the banquet tasted the water. That had been turned into wine. And he did not realize where they had come from. Though the servant that drew the water knew. And then he called the bridegroom aside and said. Everyone bring out the choice wine. First and then the cheaper wine. After the guests had too much to drink. But you have saved the best until now. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for this time of preaching. We thank you, O oh God, for this opportunity to declare your word. I don't take it for granted, but God, I ask you if you will, give me power to preach your word. Oh God, go, help me to go down in the treasures of your word. Give me strength. Give me clarity. Hallelujah. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And God, you do it. And when it's done and said, we'll say that you did it. And to God be the glory. In Jesus' name, everyone shout, amen. Hallelujah. I want to talk tonight, this afternoon, from the subject, there's no charge for refills. I want to talk from the subject, there's no charge for refills. I was at a restaurant the other day and I looked down at the menu and it said there's no charge for refills. Come on and shout hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters, I have come to understand the hour in which we are living in. And if I may bring to your attention just for a few fleeting moments and help all of us to understand this, that the spirit of discouragement, the spirit of fear, Bishop, the spirit, the spirit of panic has taken over the face of the earth. And while I am concerned about the level of warfare that most of us, if not all of us, have been experiencing, some of us have been experiencing encountering, encountering the attacks that have been launched against us. I am not blind to the fact that this fight is a spiritual attack. It is a spiritual attack against our faith. It is a spiritual attack against our testimony. It is a spiritual attack against our declaration. We have been declaring. We have been saying it. We have been prophesying. That we have been declaring victory. We have been shouting over victory we have been declaring victory over adversity victory over fear bishop and victory over the pandemic 
only to be faced with what we call the pressures of life. Somebody shout life. The pressures of life. Y'all help me preach just for a little bit and I'll be out your way. The pressures of life can range from a rocky marriage. They can range from a financial lack, sicknesses, and depression. Feeling that you should be a lot further than where you are right now. Saints of God, a uh, life has a way of taking a toll on you. Is there anybody here that has experienced life and it has taken a toll on you? And life sometimes it will leave you. It will leave you, Elder McCray. It will leave you fatigued. It will leave you drained. Uh, but what I found out about life, Minister Prince, is, is that life sometimes will leave you empty. Lord, help me if you will. Life will leave you empty after experiencing trial after trial, transition after transition. You will become spiritually empty. Brothers and my sisters, we uh, as the saints of God will often find ourselves functioning, doing the will of God, providing for our families, coming to church and doing what we call church stuff only to find ourselves functioning on E. It is a dangerous thing. Somebody shout dangerous. It is a dangerous thing to function from an empty place. Isn't it sad that we are even connected to people that cannot even discern when a pouring is necessary? But my brothers and my sisters, what I've came to understand tonight is, is that you don't even need to get mad with them because of everything that we're dealing with in this hour, most people only have enough oil for themselves. I don't hear nobody talking here. Sometimes in your season that you're going through, you have to become selfish. You can't pick up every phone call that comes around. Now, you can't hear every problem that somebody wants to dump on you. Because in this season of my life, I only have enough oil for me. But tonight, God is getting ready to pour into you enough oil to complete the assignment. Uh, look at somebody and tell a neighbor, see, God is getting ready uh, to give you enough oil uh, to complete the assignment. Hallelujah to God. Uh, Lord, help me preach tonight. Uh, but as much as you're running or empty, as much as you're going through spiritual warfare, uh, as much as you are battling the pressures of life, uh, and as much of you, it seems that the devil has gotten the best of you. Uh, I came tonight to let you know that this is a time the Lord told me to tell the saints. Uh, I don't do it often, but I came tonight, Pastor King, uh, to do uh, uh, something. Uh, he told me to prophesy, uh, and I came to prophesy tonight. Uh, and it, it's aligning with what Bishop's been talking about. Huh? It's aligning with what he's been declaring. Huh? It is a time of refreshing. It is a time of great revival that is upon us. Huh? The Lord said, tell the people of God huh? a fresh pouring huh? of power and glory huh? is about to be revealed huh? in the earth. Huh? Look at somebody and tell a neighbor, get ready for the pouring. Huh? The pouring is a moment. I said the pouring is a moment. Uh, it is that moment that you are in right position uh, in order to receive the pouring. Uh, do I have anybody here that will open up your spirit tonight uh, and say, Lord, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for the pouring. Uh, the Lord had to free some of us uh, from the spirit of fear, Bishop, uh, so that he could take a bold in your spirit, uh, so that he can feel you one more time. Uh, come on and shout hallelujah. Uh, I'm hastening on in the book of Ezekiel, uh, the 39th chapter and the 29th verse. Uh, it says, I would not hide my face from them anymore. 
for I shall pour out my spirit on the house of Israel said the Lord God the Bible says in Acts the second chapter and I'm almost done in here it says but it is that that was spoken of by the prophet Joel that it shall come to pass in the last day that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see visions your old men shall dream dreams come on and shout hallelujah but it says what I like in that latter clause it says but I will meaning there is a promise to this poor Look at somebody and tell them there's a promise attached to this pouring. God help me preach if you will. He said, I will. That is an assurance that it will happen. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, I know things be rough right through here. But if you just hold on a few more days, it will happen. It's going to come to pass. Oh, God help me if you will. Well, the Bible, the Bible huh, is right all by itself. Huh? It says, I'll pour out my spirit in those days huh? and they shall prophesy. Huh? Well, I am doing it again, Pastor King. Huh? I am prophesying. Huh? Bishop, he said to me, huh, tell the saints of God. Huh, first, what he had to do, Brother Walker, Minister Walker, huh, he had to minister to me. God help me if you will. He had to minister to me because I was saying, God, contrary to what you're saying, what things look like right now, you're telling me something different and things are a little tight through here. But he said, Elder McCray, he said something new, something pure, and something intentional huh? from the Lord is getting ready to hit your life huh? God help me if you will huh? I want to say it one more time huh? something new something pure huh? and something intentional huh? is getting ready to hit your life huh? yes 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 my brothers and my sisters huh? did you think that the pouring huh, would come easy huh? did you think huh, that the porn would happen huh, and you would walk through this season huh, which the Lord has promised huh? he said this is the season huh, of divine elevation huh? oh Lord help me here huh? he said did you think huh, that it would come easy huh? did you think that you were just gonna walk huh, in this season huh, just on a bed of ease huh? but no you had to experience heart failure huh? you had to experience a car accident huh? you had to experience things huh? loss of loved ones huh? in order to receive huh? this season of divine divine elevation huh? Lord help me preach if you will Lord have mercy I came I came tonight uh, to help you for these few minutes uh, to let you know uh, brother Justin uh, that it's all going to make sense after a while yeah, it's going to make sense uh, I've been asking the Lord uh, why so much warfare yeah. do I have anybody here besides me that has been experiencing warfare like never before I've been asking God uh, where is all this warfare uh, coming from uh, nights I would fall asleep uh, only to get right back up uh, to sit on the side of the bed uh, or go in the living room uh, just to pray uh, because I was experiencing uh, so much warfare Lord help me here you experienced the warfare it was necessary and yes you're going my brothers and my sisters I don't know why the Lord keeps asking or telling me to prophesy but he told me to tell the saints again 
He said, tell them some more. Huh? Because I've been, some of you all have been in the season, Brother Bishop, huh, that you have not heard God. It seems like God had shut up the heavens uh, and you could not hear him for your life. Uh, but I came to let you know tonight uh, that you're going from empty to elevation. And you're moving from you're moving from famine unto favor. Uh, a supernatural release uh, is about to hit your belly. Uh, look at somebody and tell them, say, neighbor. Whatever you do in this season, huh, keep your belly open huh, because God is getting ready huh, to charge your belly. Huh. He's getting ready to put something in you huh, that's going to sustain you for the next elevation. He, he got to charge me. He has to charge my spirit. Huh. In order for me to survive, Sister Jackie, uh, this next season of my life, uh, I need a charge. Uh, I need a refill. Uh, Y'all don't hear me tonight. Uh, I thought we was on our road to Pentecost. Uh, look at somebody and tell them we on our way. We on our way. Yeah. Keep your belly open, Bishop. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you've been experiencing, but tell them new wine is getting ready to be released. Lord, help me preach tonight. Wine is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus speaks of it in association with the move of God. In the New Testament, the infilling of the Spirit uh, is compared in contrast uh, to drinking wine. Uh, what God has uh, is definitive right now. Uh, it is particularly anointed. Uh, what God is doing in this hour, uh, he's anointing you for the new era. Lord, help me if you will. Uh, He's anointing you for the new era and the new wine that is heaven, that comes from heaven. But let's be aware that which is new tastes different. God help me if you will. I said that which is new, it tastes different. That means that you're used to the way why the old wine was huh? but that which is new huh? it's gonna be uncomfortable huh? because it's something different huh? he said to me huh? he said you have learned to receive of me huh? in one way huh? and now i'm coming huh? in a different way huh? That which you are not used to, huh? it may take some adjusting. It may take some huh? different thinking. Huh? It might take some different logic. Huh? But he said, I have a different impartation for you. Lord, y'all don't hear me tonight. Huh? He said, tell him I got a different huh? impartation for you. Huh? My brothers and my sisters, huh, I understand the times huh, that we are living in. Huh, but I came to let you know tonight huh, that it's harvest time. Huh. Look at somebody and tell them it's harvest time. Yes, Lord. Huh, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Huh, it talks about new wine. Huh, new wine is associated with harvest. I'm coming, Brother Eddie. Just give me a second. Uh, new wine is associated with harvest. Uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, uh, beginning at the 14th verse, uh, it says, Then I will send rain uh, to your land in that season, uh, both autumn and spring. I just want to know what season are we in right now? Uh, he said, I'm sending 
rain in autumn, which is the fall, and the spring. He said rain that will gather in the grain, new wine and olive oil. God, help me if you will. A harvest from God, this harvest that I'm talking about, is a harvest of abundance and he promised a day of overflow and one in which the harvest and the new wine will be plentiful the bible says in Amos the ninth chapter it says the days are coming declares the lord when the reaper Y'all, I got happy over the word. Huh? When the reaper, do I have any reapers in here? Huh? In order to be a reaper, you got to be a sower. I don't hear nobody talking. Huh? When the reaper will take over by the plowman huh? and the planter by the one trading the grapes, huh? new wine will drip from the mountains and from the hills of the Lord. Huh? Come on and shout hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters, as I go to my seat tonight, in the gospel account tonight, Jesus and his mother and his disciples were invited to a wedding. And when the wine ran out, the Bible says that this was one of Jesus. This was his first miracle that was performed huh? he even told his mother huh, that it's not even my time but some scholars would say huh, that he did this miracle huh, to appease his mother huh? but I beg to differ huh? he did this miracle huh, in order to please the father huh? come on and shout hallelujah Yes, Lord. And the Bible talks about Jesus delivers a sign of his divinity by turning water into wine. I want to bring out a few points before I hasten to my seat. The Lord, help me if you will. The Bible records that the wedding was going on. And the wine ran out. Huh? Meaning that at some point, Pastor King, huh, that they had wine. Huh? That wine was there. Huh? But the Bible says that the wine ran out. Huh? And isn't it something huh, that while you're living life, huh, preaching the word of God, huh, that you come to the place huh, that you find yourself, huh, that you're all out of wine. Huh? Come on and shout hallelujah. Huh? So caught up in some stuff huh, that you didn't even know huh, that your barrel huh, was empty. Huh? Is there anybody here huh, that will help me tonight huh, that will be honest with me huh, and say, I found myself. Huh, my barrel huh, had became empty. Huh? And Lord, help me here. Huh? If it didn't become empty, huh? there was little to none huh? left in the barrel. Huh? But when Jesus, the mother of Jesus, huh? said to him, huh? he said, there is no wine. Huh? The Bible says huh? that Jesus told the disciples, huh? he said, go over huh? and I want you to feel huh? I want you to feel those barrels huh? and I want you to feel them huh? until the top huh? but I looked in the scripture huh? and the scripture said huh? that Jesus told the disciples huh? I want you to feel the barrels huh? till the brim huh? I came to tell you huh? that what God is doing huh? he's getting ready huh? to fill you uh, to the brim uh, so much so uh, that it's getting ready uh, to overflow uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say neighbor there's no charge uh, for this refill uh, you paid enough uh, for this refill uh, you paid enough uh, for this pouring uh, and I 
say that I owe you one because you stayed, you stayed the cause and you didn't let nobody turn you around. I need somebody here to look at somebody and say, neighbor, new one is getting ready to come. Yes, sir. New one is getting ready. I know you've been functioning of the old one, but I heard him say a fresh pouring of Holy Ghost, a fresh pouring of fire is getting ready to be revealed. I heard him say that glory was getting ready to occupy your spirit. I want you to know that tonight, well, this morning, you made room for the poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made room for the poor. And now God is releasing his power. Are you ready? Open your mouth and say Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I heard him say, he told the disciples, he said, feel it to the brim. And God, what God is doing, when he does this, he not filling you halfway, but he's filling you so much that you'll have enough for the overflow. The Bible says, and I'm going to my seat. The Bible says that Jesus said, now that you filled it, take the bell to the master of the banquet. The Bible said, let us the walker that the man didn't know that the water, where the water, but where the wine had came from. But the man that drew it knew where it came from. I came to tell you, Minister Prince, that eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man. The thing that God has prepared for you, came to tell you, minister, oh brother Justin almost called you a preacher, but it's the season of preparation, Lord help me here, you've been wondering what in the world, what's going on, you've been wondering why I'm going through so much turmoil, but I came to tell you, it's the season of preparation he's been preparing you he's been preparing you for greater yes sir this this is the season a preparation. And if you will allow God to fill your belly, if you will allow God, Ella Brown, to do it in your spirit, now that fear is gone, now the hesitation is gone, I need y'all said to me he said take confidence in the call I need some of you all to stand up on what he called you to do and be assured that your belly is the dwelling yes sir look at somebody and say neighbor 
Make your belly the dwelling place. Make your spirit create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Prepare my body and a living sacrifice. Holy! I said holy! Holy! Unto God! Shout yeah! 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 Somebody open your mouth and say yes Lord! Yes Lord! Do it in me. I'm a willing vessel. And my answer. And my answer. And my answer will be us. Lord, I'm available. Lord. Yes, sir. Just like the miracle happened, Pastor Simmons, I came, I'm going to my seat to prophesy yet once again. And I came, I'm not a prophet, but he gave me power to declare a thing. Yes, sir. I'm not going to wait, Bishop, until Pentecost to get a refill. But he's been, he's been preparing me at the table for a long time. Your cup runneth over. Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, ain't nothing wrong with you in this season, you just at the table. You just at the table. And he's anointing you with fresh oil. He's anointing you. I feel like I'm 21. But he's anointing you with fresh oil. Get ready. Get ready, Mason. Get ready, Cox. Get ready, McCray. There's no charge. Jesus didn't say, well, where's your money? I got a lot of notes up there. But let me tell you this. Elder Brown, wine, I got a shot. Wine is not something that can be made overnight. Not real wine. Bishop, there's a difference between wine and house wine. House wine is a cheaper version of the original. It is a knockoff and it's an off brand to get those who drink it satisfied for a moment. But if you have a get some wine, the real wine. The Bible says that Jesus said fill the bells. Fill it to the brim. It is not it's not right that you can just take wine the 
longer it sits, the better it gets. But Jesus had the audacity to bring out good wine. The Bible says, it says, Sister Chanel, that they said, you have saved the best for now. I want you to know that everything that you have been experiencing, greater true life, everything we've been experiencing for the past 26 years, God is getting ready to bring out the good stuff. Lord, help me if you will. He's getting ready to bring us some good wine. And this wine going to pay off the church. This wine going to sit in souls. This wine going to produce preachers and prophets, evangelists and pastors. Out of this house, I'm getting ready to send wine to the brim. We're going to the top. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Get ready. Lift your hands right now and say, Lord. Lord, pour it down. Let your rain, let your wine, let your oil. Let some drops, let some drops, let some drops now fall. your hands. What am I? Ah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My soul say yes. My body say yes. Yes, Lord. Clap your hands and say yes, Lord. Clap your hands and say yeah. yes, 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 yes to your will, yes to your way, I'll obey, I want it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Tell him yes! Until he change your language. Tell him yes! Until he set fire on your road. Fire! Consuming fire! Come on in the room! Come on in the room! Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Yes, Lord. I want it, Lord. I'm open. And I'm ready. Feel me. Feel me. One more time. It don't mean that I'm not safe. But I want more. Come on! 
this place and say, do it in the Lord. Do it in the Lord. I want more. I want more. Who saw their times? Who saw their times? In his first glory. In his former glory. Do you see it now? There's glory. Who do you about shout? I said glory. 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 for it too because he can refill you too you'll play under his glory when he refill you the old wine was good preachers the old wine was good it sustained them through the wedding but Jesus showed up and said, I got to give him some new wine. Come on. Come on. Get lost in you, yes. Get lost in it. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in the room. Preachers, we got to get stirred. We got to get stirred. There's a world to be reached. And we got to have some wine. Oh, he's giving you your win. Bishop, he gave me my win back through adversity. He gave me my wind back. Hey, 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 hey. I feel a wind. I've been kind of down for a couple of weeks. But he pushed me. And he's pushing. He's pushing some of y'all through adversity. He's pushing you through trial. Reach for them. This morning, I was in my office and I saw the spirit of fear being dismantled on the line. I saw it. Some of y'all have been fearful to reach out and do what he really called you to do. But now fear is gone. There's a vacancy. There's a vacancy. Fear is gone. You've been used to fear. You've been used to the old one. But now there's an empty place that gotta be filled. I was online yesterday and they said that this house is vacant. 
Sister Jackie, but you know what stuck out to me? Bishop, it said, we need a tenant immediately. The empty place needed somebody to occupy. To occupy that place immediately. And some of you all, fear is gone. You can't wait till next Sunday. To feel the available place. You got to fill the vessel immediately. If not, the wrong thing will occupy that place. Fear will creep back in and occupy a place that it never was supposed to be. no charge for this refill. Pastor King, there's no charge for it. Because Sister Chanel, I've paid enough for that. There's no need for me to keep paying for something that I've paid off. Because some of us are getting ready to occupy a new place. Elevation is in this house. It's evident, y'all. Have you been feeling the weight? Who am I? The weight has been heavy. Weight has been almost, I won't cry, but it's almost unbearable. But then the Lord sends you a message and sends you a word to tell you, you hung in there when you could have gave up. Y'all, I thought both of my cars was down was enough. I thought that was enough. I thought that was going to take me home. Then situation after situation after situation after situation started happening. And I said, God, I don't know how much more that I can bear. My barrel was empty. Weddings are a, 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 a event for celebration. And some of us, God has done some great things in our lives. And you've been in the season of celebration. But somewhere between one foot going up and the other foot coming down, my barrel got empty. And I ran out of wine. But the other day, Bishop, the other day, I just felt like I just couldn't take it no more. I, I, now, don't get me wrong, y'all. I didn't say I was leaving God. I didn't say that. But it just said, God, so overbearing that all I could do was just holler. Bishop, I hollered so like that, and it wasn't one of those long, drawn-out hollers. It was a quick holler. And, and I didn't understand why I just did it just like, he said, because I'm snatching you out. My barrel was empty. 
But tonight, look at somebody tell him tonight, he's filling me to the brim. My cup runneth over. But surely, Justin, all the way up into this present time. So here comes another blow, Sister Jackie. I told y'all about those blows. But God is getting ready to give me another blessing. Bishop, you reminded me of it the other day. After every blow, he sends a blessing. Hallelujah. I'm going to my seat. But preachers, this is for, this the message is for everybody. But the Lord said, send a special message to our preachers. It's gonna y'all and y'all know I don't do this. I'm I'm just I'm just Antoine. But I'm a different Antoine. I'm comfortable in who he called me to be. It's gonna preachers, it's gonna take new wine to follow new wine. Y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me. The Lord brought it full circle to me yesterday. It's going to take new wine to undergird new wine. Pastor, the Lord brought it to me yesterday. He said, Pastor Bellamy is gone. That was fresh wine. She had enough to pour for you, 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 all of us. Now, we're going to have to open wine. And be filled to follow our bishop because the spirit of elevation y'all I keep telling you Pastor King said it the other week said it he said elevation is in this house it got to be because of the level of warfare that we have been experiencing I, I, I was going through I called Pastor King to tell him about it then he called me to, he in the sling and in the hospital I said God what more? What more? But what the Lord is doing, y'all, it's 7 o'clock. I ain't even been preaching that long. He's sending elevation to this house. And I want y'all to know the reason why Bishop's been preaching about the new, the fear, is because you got to occupy in this season. You can't be afraid to occupy. Chanel, you can't be afraid to occupy. Step, you can't be afraid. There's so much more than what we've been doing here at Greater True Life. There is a, ooh, there's a wind that he's breathing in us. And Bishop said it this morning that some of us are being blessed because of our obedience. I won't scared to obey. At one time I was, I was fearful to obey God. Y'all don't, don't try to act like that, like y'all ain't never been scared to obey God because all y'all preachers had to give God a yes and if you did it freely, I don't think I want to hear you preach. Because some of y'all wanted to do it. 
But for those of us who didn't want to do it and God forced us. When he called us and we gave him that yes. Lord have mercy. Everyone standing. I'm going to this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want you to hold nobody's hand. I just want you to get close to him. Just get close to him. Ah, yeah. Glory to God. Just get close to him. Pull your mask up and get close. Because that's another trick of the enemy. He wants us to be fearful even in the house of God. But the devil is a liar. I saw a free course in this place this morning as if COVID never happened. I saw him move by his power. There's a fresh pouring, Bishop. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. You don't have to question. I'm here. What you pour, I'll drink. Lord. Yes, Lord. You keep pouring. And we'll keep drinking. Shanda. Keep pouring. Pour. Pour, Bishop. Pour. And we'll sit and drink. We don't want to go ahead of you. We just want the pouring. Woo. We won't be so big. I don't care how long you've been preaching. Keep drinking. Get close to somebody. And I just want you to pray for them. I'm going to my seat. I just want you to pray for them that God would refill them. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Pray. Pray that he'll fill them. Refill. That he'll endow them with more power from on high. Holy Ghost, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh, Shh. breathe on us God, blow your breath on us, sit a weight of your glory, sit a weight of your anointing, we're ready God. We're ready and we're open. Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for the new place. Behold, I will do a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Come on, he's doing a new thing. Pray until fire fall. Pray until fire fall. Pray until fire fall. Come on. Hey! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Get me, get me. Oh, 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 
Shiada.
on, come on. Just a few more moments. Come on. Let them feel you. Let them change your language again. Come on here. Some of y'all ain't spoke since you got the Holy Ghost. Come on, preachers. Build yourself up on your most holy faith. Bishop, I'm going to my seat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no. Do it, God. Do it, God. Bishop, I tell you, right here, just this second, it's real slippery. Right here. I don't know why. But I tell you, that's what oil does. Makes things slide right off. But I tell you what, there's elevation in this house. Thank you, Lord. We bless the Lord today. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I honor the Lord today. That's all right. You let her go. Let her go. She need this. Because I won't be surprised if he feel it tonight, Bishop. Somebody clap your hands and say, do it tonight, God. There it go. Somebody say, do it tonight, God. I feel a rejuvenating energy. What I couldn't do for a while, I feel like I could just stand up. I'm not going to do it, but I feel like I could stand up in some chairs. And, Bishop, you said leap over walls and run through troops this morning. That's what happens when he fills you to the brim. You won't know how to act when you use Brother Justin to your barrel being empty and God comes to your celebration. you were celebrating before but 
Jesus showed up to your celebration. And at weddings, some, I'm, I'm going to my seat, Bishop, when they talked about the wedding, when they was drinking the wine, the wedding was actually over. They were in what we call modern day uh, uh, reception. They were at what we call modern day reception. Because you don't drink wine at the wedding. You, you save that for the celebration. It's all a celebration. But the reception, you take it up what? Another notch. Y'all ain't never been to a reception. You, you real reserved at the wedding. But at the reception, that's when you get your dance on. But the thing about this reception is, Jesus showed up to this reception to give out some new wine. Because the old wine had run out. I want you to just lift your hand and say, God, I thank you for the new wine. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great! Y'all playing too low back there. I'm ready to celebrate. Somebody shout, great! It's not faithfulness. I thank the Lord tonight. I'm going to bless you. Lord tonight. Hopefully I said something tonight. Hopefully I said something. Elder McCray, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I can look at the devil in his face and let him know I'm happy. Y'all don't hear me. Because some of y'all been sad. Didn't know what was going on. Fearful. But when you can look at the devil square in the face and say, I'm happy. I'm putting a smile on my face. I don't care what's going on. It don't even matter. I got new wine. Listen. And I'm going to my seat. I'm really going this time. I'm going. But I need somebody in here, if you will. I know y'all say, oh, he just want to shout. But let me tell you something. You right. I do. I told y'all that God was sending something new, something pure, and something intentional. So since he got something intentional for me, I got something intentional for him. I got something pure for him too. And I got something new. I got me a new praise. Got me a new praise. It's a pure praise. And it's an intentional praise. When you have been through what I've been through, praise him whether y'all like it or not but guess what I, I hear people say that bishop but I thank God I'm amongst those that are sanctified they ain't gonna stop me but they'll join me and if you get mad because of praise the devil is in you and you need a refilling but listen, everybody standing as our bishop comes. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord tonight. Sister Lillian, the Lord is getting ready to do something in your spirit. Keep your belly open. They're not even going to be able to recognize you in this next season. Sister 
Elder Gerald, you too. New ideas. Bishop said it this morning. This next door. Tell somebody it was all a setup. Well, somebody ought to help us. Somebody ought to give God praise for the new one. Come on here. waiting on him and no I'm not necessarily talking about preaching but this yes that I'm talking about is an eternal yes Lord have mercy and whatever he got for you to do now is the time for you to occupy this new place Lord have mercy I keep hearing, behold, I shall do a what? A new thing. I'm getting ready to do something new, something pure, and something intentional. And shall ye not know it? I love y'all. Listen, y'all just give about 30 seconds of praise. Come on, put your hands together. Because it's on the way, y'all. No charge for this refill. And y'all know, 
<laughs> Pastor Lawrence said this one is on the house. Lord have mercy. When you go to the restaurant, there are certain drinks that you have to pay for if you want a refill of it. I'm talking about special lemonades and y'all ain't saying nothing. And there, there's, there's some that there's no charge for a refill. You can drink of it as much as you want. What's flowing out of this house and what's flowing in this atmosphere, yes, Lord, you can have as much as you want of this oil. Oh my God, the atmosphere has been made conducive for an overflow in your barrel. We praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen, for the man of God and for the word of God. Come on, let's give God a praise for Pastor Antoine Lawrence. Come on, will you celebrate the man of God who preached? Come on, was that a word in the house or what? Tell somebody there's no job for all of this. And we celebrate God. Amen for how he has blessed us tonight. We have enjoyed you. Pastor, we say keep on preaching. Lord, have mercy. Come on, tell somebody whatever you're doing in the kingdom, don't stop now. Lord, have mercy. Come on, tell somebody whatever you're doing in the kingdom. Tell them, don't stop now. My God, we praise him. Amen for this great, great move of God tonight. There was so much in that word. Amen. Glory to God. The pastor preached tonight, and we want to thank God. Amen for the new wine. Glory to God. And the Bible talks about the fact that you can't put new wine in old wine skin. Glory to God. So you need to tell God, make me a new vessel. Come. Hallelujah. So I can receive this new wine that you're pouring out. And I believe that he made many of you new vessels this morning so that you could receive the outpouring of the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Glory to God. I'm not afraid of the oil. How about you? No, no, no. I'm not afraid, amen, of what God is pouring because it's given me power, amen, against the wiles of the enemy. And what we're dealing with in this hour, you need power over the adversaries you're coming up against. And I thank God for the new wine tonight, amen, that has been released in this atmosphere in Jesus' name, and we celebrate again, amen, this Pentecost, amen, celebration. Glory to God. We thank God for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Isn't that right? Glory to God. How many of y'all got the Holy Ghost? Mm. Lord, have mercy. Amen. And can I tell you, I know we say I got it, but can you tell somebody I got him? <laughs> Amen. Because he is the he is the spirit of the living God that's living and breathing and moving down on the inside of each and every one of us. Amen. And if you got any supernatural power, amen, it's not coming through your praise, it's coming through the Holy Ghost. If there's any power in your praise, if there's any power in your preaching, amen. Glory to God. It's not enthusiasm, it's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Many of you have gifts and talents. Glory to God. And we have ability. Amen. But you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. The gift of the Holy Ghost will give you the power. Amen. To see change in the lives of people as you do that which God has called you and ordained you to do. Amen. I don't just want to have a gift. I want to have power. Lord have mercy. I don't just want to be, amen, someone that can sing and shout and do these things and don't have power. Hallelujah. Amen. You need power. Glory to God. Amen. Over the enemy. 
and you need power over yourself. You need power over, amen, the things that come against your house. Amen. Because I'm telling you, when you get home, amen, there's an adversary, amen, that's trying to keep your house from prospering. Amen. But you got to have power to rebuke the devil. Amen. I was thinking about, amen, when Pastor Lawrence was talking, amen, about the vacancy. Amen. Glory to God. And we were taught, amen, that when you deal, amen, in deliverance, one of the things you got to do, glory to God, when you cast the devil out, is lock him out. My God, and I saw, God, have mercy. I saw a house. Glory to God. Right over there, I saw a house. Glory to God that was left vacant and the door was left open. Glory to God. But I, oh, God. Amen. Glory to God. But every one of you that let go the spirit of fear this morning ought to slam the door in the devil's face. the devil you can't come back in amen come on tell the spirit of fear it's over my god hallelujah lock the door of your spirit to the spirit of to the spirit of fear my god and tell him i'm filling it with the holy ghost i'm no longer vacant amen it is filled with the spirit of the living god amen everything you release Glory to God, you ought to fill it with the Spirit of God. God, hallelujah, take control, amen, of that area of my life. God got new territory this morning in you. Hallelujah, and I thank him, amen, for what he has done, amen, in the lives of, your, of his people tonight. Oh, my God, amen, praise God. Sometimes people, amen, tear up homes and leave the house, amen, for the uh, the person that rented the house to them to fix it up. Glory to God. And they leave and leave the house of mess and then leave the front door wide open. Glory to God. But hallelujah. Amen. Every now and then you got to know, amen, you're going to need help down the line. And what you did to somebody else will be done to you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. But I want to tell somebody here, there is no door that's left open in me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because what I gave up, I gave it up freely. I wish I had somebody here. Amen. You got to let God take residence on the inside of you. Glory to God. And tell him, I'm not leaving no doors open. I'm closing every door. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm letting you live on the inside of me. We praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight for this great experience in the Holy Ghost. We're on the road. Amen to Pentecost. It's coming. Amen. It'll be here before you know it. Hallelujah. We thank God for you tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. If all hearts and minds are clear, amen. We want to, amen, take this time, glory to God, to receive seed tonight. Amen. Glory to God. We want to bless the man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can show tonight by way, amen, of cash app, J, uh, dollar sign, GTLM. 485. You can give through Givelify. Glory to God. The greater true light ministries. Or you can release tangibly. Amen. Unto the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. He that soweth unto you spiritual things. The Bible said that you ought to release. Glory to God. Unto him. Glory to God. Of that which God has given to you. And so tonight. Glory to God. We want to be a blessing. And we want to sow. Hallelujah. Into the vessel tonight. Amen. As you have been blessed by that word, amen, we want you to show tonight in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you now, amen, for every sower. We praise you, God, that every seed that we sow, God will bring back a great harvest. Thank you now, God, that the harvest is always greater than the seed. Bless us now as we do it in Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Amen. If you're releasing tangibly, you can get up now. Amen. And release that gift. If you're doing it through greater true light, amen. Cash up. Glory to God. To God be the glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Are there any other announcements or anything that we need to announce before we dismiss tonight? Mm. 
We bless God. Amen. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh. Hallelujah. God bless our musicians tonight. Let's celebrate them. Y'all can do better than that. They played all day. Amen. Did a beautiful job. Amen. Glory to God. Deacon Peppers went home and put on his t-shirt. And it says, fear. What's the rest? Fear is for others. Fear is for others. Tell somebody, fear is not for me. Fear is for others. Amen. Glory to God. I'm not fearful. Amen. I've got Jesus on my side. Let's stand tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Let us remember elders and ministers. Amen. You're on the Zoom call tomorrow night, 7 o'clock p.m. sharp. Please remember your assignment. Amen. We need you to be on tomorrow night with your assignment. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Amen. All of our pastors, there is a pastor's call. Amen. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m. Amen. For the sounds of praise, pastors, amen. Please make sure that when we exit the Zoom call for the elders and ministers that you be on the pastor's call. Amen. At 8 o'clock on tomorrow night. In Jesus' name, amen. Then Tuesday night we'll be in Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. on Facebook Live. Invite three people is what I've asked you to do. Amen. Glory to God. And as you're coming on, we would that you would like and share, amen, the study so that uh, people can receive the word. Amen. Glory to God. And Wednesday morning, 5.30 a.m., we'll be in prayer. Amen. Consecration. Midweek prayer at 5.30 a.m. Amen. Get out of your beds and join us in prayer from 5.30 until 6 on Wednesday morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. If that's all, you can stand. Praise his name. Hallelujah. All right. That's right. Thank you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight for the outpouring of your spirit. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your blessed us so richly tonight in your word. Thank you for your servant tonight who you have anointed and appointed and have used to deliver such an on-time word. Father, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Father, continue, oh God, to bless us as we celebrate the power that lies within us. Lord, keep us in your care. Cover us under your blood. Bless us this week like only you can. And God will give your name, glory, honor, and praise. In the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, we pray and we thank you. And every glad heart said amen, amen, and amen. On your way out, please tell somebody you love them before you leave. God bless you. You're dismissed.